We are at a children's hospital in South Sudan, Juba City. And we are going to take a look at the children here and look at the conditions and find out exactly what this place is lacking, what it needs, and how we can help. We are asking our, our patient in some hospital and then the children are named. Sometimes we can see two children, 200 children a day. From 150 to 200, 250 a day. When this Monday, Tuesday, the beginning of the week, then the number is big. In a month, we can see over 1,000. Uh, medical supplies? Medical, Always a shortage. Our medical supply is very, very limited. It's very limited. We, our supply comes from the State Ministry of Health, the Central Equatoria, because it's you know, the Central Equatoria State. And the medicine is very, very minimal because of the big number of the children. When we get a quota in the beginning, like, let, let me say January, when we get a quota in January, we're supposed to last up for three months. It is out before three months for the children. And to get another one, it's difficult. Because the state is big, we have got a good number of, uh, good number of hospitals. We don't have enough numbers. This is the main problem that we have. Every three months they get a supply that's supposed to last for three months. And she said that it barely lasts. And when they're out, they can't get any more. So if they go through their medical supplies within 30 days, then they have nothing for the next 60 days. All this trash out back of the children's hospital. So there's no sanitation, nowhere to put it. This close to the hospital. said that they have about seven doctors on staff. Um, eight? Eight doctors? Nine, yeah. Oh, she was giving a phone number, I heard eight. So there's seven doctors on staff. Um, they're extremely short on supplies. They're always short on supplies. They don't ever have enough. And judging by the conditions of the hospital, um, it's, it's, it's less than inadequate by, by any low standard. Uh, especially children. Um, it's a sad place.